We're in the European Union Parliament building. As you can see, it has this uh, rather nice glass atrium design. There's the atrium up there. This is the office building where the European Union members have their offices. And there's a bridges, as you can see, that link that part of the building. There's one there, one of the bridges, with this part of the building, this rather impressive wooden ball. If I can just get in a good position, you'll see it. <coughs> this wooden ball structure here is called the hemicircle. And inside there, along that bridge there, that is where the debating chamber is. Let's go and have a look inside. And there it is, this is the hemicircle. Used to be golf ball type affair. You see it in the building. And this is the entrance to the public gallery. Now they're not in session at the moment, so we're allowed to video record in here. But when they are in session, photography is not allowed. So unfortunately I can't show you any goings on in here. Probably get a better view this way. So, this is the debating area itself. There's the chair. Those two screens there, they show you um, when they vote what it is that they're voting on and how many votes there have been, how many abstentions, how many for, how many against. And if we look very carefully down here, you'll see each delegate's got a grey panel. That contains his microphone and the microphone transmit button and also the buttons so that he can vote yes or no on various things and so the information is taken from the buttons on the panels and is calculated by computer and displayed on the screens those uh, booths there contain the translation booths this is the public gallery oftentimes got uh, visiting school parties on and I sit just over there usually watching the proceedings Uh, the camera now. Uh, so this gentleman here is a parliamentary usher and they very kindly allowed yep. uh, me to go into the debating chamber and have a look at the voting panel. Let's carry on. It's not in session at the moment so we're allowed in here. And here it is. Here's the um, control panel that the parliamentarian uses. So that you see that they have a channel control and a microphone control and a volume control on that. Not sure how they do the voting though. Um, so the voting buttons, are these the voting yes. buttons here? Yes, yeah, so nobody can see what... Ah, oh, so nobody can see which way they voted. Yeah. They press the button here. So this button tells them when they have voted. Yeah. The, the light tells them when they have voted. Oh, that's right. And everybody has an exactly identical panel. And this microphone, I've noticed, uh, lights up and shows red when it's live. Yeah, you see and these headphones card. here are for the... Uh... This is a voting card. Oh, right, okay, show me that again. So this is a voting card. The MP yes. has to put his uh, voting card into the terminal to verify that he's definitely an MEP. And then with the card in, he can go ahead and vote. Then on the screens on the back here that you see to either side of the platform, that's where the results show up. And there's a master panel for this uh, on the chairman's seat. So, thank you very much indeed, appreciate it. Merci bien, merci. Yeah, no problem, sir. Also outside the parliament, as you see, is this desk here. 
and this is the desk where uh, members of parliament come to sign declarations and there's the declarations all pinned up there and those declarations will go to the European Union Commission uh, to ask them to start various initiatives. There's also a kind of a media village here with a uh, radio studio and uh, some kind of TV studio equipment here so where the technicians go so that people can be interviewed and these peculiar looking trumpet things are actually little booths where uh, folks can go have a private and confidential chat.